are we cutting the cable cord or not? Let's talk about it. Hi guys, Gwen and Claudia here, and let's talk about it. The cable TV, is it worth it or not? Is it better to go with the streaming services? I divided that about a few factors that you should take under, under consideration before you actually jump into switching from cable TV to streaming services or keeping cable TV. So what are those? Let's first talk about the cable TV that you have. The cable companies, and based on your location, that might be a different company, uh, the cable companies are offering different services. Usually they try to sell you something called a bundle. Those are three services. It's going to be a landline phone. Yes, there is such a thing like landline phone. Landline phone. And uh, cable TV and internet connection. The common link in streaming services and cable TV when you are not helping. Yes, she is. Uh, the common link is internet connection. You need internet connection. If you decide to switch to streaming services, you need that internet connection in your house, no matter what. So uh, there are third parties that are offering internet um, connection services, but also your cable companies are holding you because they are offering you that when stop doing that we are on video you've got the bundle landline phone cable tv and internet connection cable companies will try to push that that bundle onto you uh, you of course you don't have to choose it uh, you can just ditch the landline phone and keep still internet connection and cable tv with the cable tv you have so many channels you have hundreds of channels and probably most of them you don't even check because you don't care so think about and this is important think about the list of your favorite tv shows or favorite tv channels even better if you decide to switch to uh streaming services what is most important to you well except maybe price would be the list of your favorite channels and you don't care about streaming service if they are not offering most, if not all, of your favorite channels. So think about the internet connection so far and think about the list of your favorite channels. Whew. The most important part, done. What's next? DVR, think about DVR. Do you like to record your shows for later so you can watch it, watch it later? Some of the streaming services, if you choose so to have the DVR option, you will have to pay extra for it. And there is a storage limitation on it. When with the cable TV, you had to get that DVR box. And um, I think there are also some uh, storage limitations, how many shows you can record, and then some will, dele will be deleted after some time. But this is also something that you should take under consideration. If the streaming service that you would like to choose has the DVR option. Some of the services, like for example, Sling TV, you will have to pay extra per month for DVR service. And also you have some limitations. The, with the PlayStation View, the same thing. Now, like for example, YouTube TV, you don't have the limitations or I haven't found any and uh, you just select what you want, add that to the library, the YouTube TV called it library, and you just, Gwen, you're not helping. She's, she's busy. There, when it comes down to DVR, you just select which shows you want to uh, add to your library, so that's kind of DVR. and. Um, that's it you don't have to think about it you don't have to do anything you just select it what you want and it's there for you to view now what else you should take under consideration the access to your channels to your shows to your favorite shows and channels uh what do you have to do of course we were talking about internet connection that's important and that's something that you will have to take um and put on your list things to take care of because you need internet connection when you want to do the streaming um if you want to go with the streaming service the good thing about streaming services is that you can watch your favorite shows live or on demand 
whenever you want, you want, and wherever. Uh, because, well, you just use the app and you can watch it on a go. Uh, again, remember about internet connection. By the way, watching TV, watching videos uh, on a go, it's going to eat lots of data. So just be, be aware of that as well. It's not something that you uh, can easily do, but just be aware that you're consuming more internet connection that if you were just listening to music, for example. So we talked about DVR. Think about this. We were talking about internet connection. You need that. We were talking about list of your favorite shows. Yes, obviously. So you have to compare different streaming services and what uh, packages, what, what plans they are offering. So for example, Sling have different packages, different plans. Um, between $25, I think up to $40 per month, you can choose which one uh, you will unfortunately have to do a little bit of research, compare what list of channels, what list of shows those streaming services are offering, because that might uh, be a little bit different than the cable TV. For example, cable TV, you have to have hundreds of TV channels and you can pick and choose whichever you want. And there is a chance that you have everything you wanted there on a cable TV versus on, uh, when it comes down to streaming services, there is a chance that you might not have access to all the favorite TV channels that you like. You have, before you subscribe, compare those list of channels uh, provided by different streaming services. Uh, also be aware that they are adding uh, new channels, they are adding another channels to their list, which is good because it's not set in stone. They are probably based on agreements with different networks. They are adding more and more channels to their lists. But the moment when you are decide, when you decided to subscribe, it's better to check, double check if you have your favorite shows or how many of your favorite channels are available um, and which streaming service is offering you the, the the highest number of your favorite channels important i would say so because well i need that food network well i don't but i would like to watch it when it comes down to uh devices what devices hardware do you need to use with cable tv you will get those boxes right you have boxes connected to your tv so let's say you have two three tvs in your home home you will have few boxes connected to your TVs then you still um, you still are able to use the cable TV application on your phone or tablet or your computer and you can all watch it on a go with the streaming services is a little bit different yes. with the streaming services you have access to the their applications and you can watch whatever show or TV uh, channel via the app also on the smart TVs, you will be able to download different apps and watch it through those apps. Uh, also, you if you don't have a smart TV, but for example, you can go and buy yourself Roku, a device like that, uh, it will allow you to also have access to those, uh, to those streaming services. So after all of that, you have to also think about the price. Here is a tiny little spin on it. If you like TV channels, like for example, HBO, Stars, um, you have to pay extra for those. So when you are going to compare prices, go, oh yeah, prices, uh, you have to take that under, under consideration as well. And then at the end of the day, at the end of that whole list of pro and cons, you will have to add those channels there's, there as well. So you will have the final fee that you will have to pay per month for streaming service. I think I have to wrap it up a little bit faster because she's getting bored. <laughs> okay, you have to take under consideration how much you are going to spend. What extra channels are you willing to pay for? So, okay, Whew. at the end of all that process, it's not necessarily going to be so much less expensive 
and so much easier because with the customer service uh, that might be a little bit different than with the cable television of the cable companies where you just have a, you can call and um, get help uh, those streaming services they have also uh, customer service um, assistant but maybe not always is going to be as easy or maybe it is again compare just double check or maybe you know what call the customer service before you subscribe before you purchase the subscription why not so you can test it beforehand before you start paying money okay so now again let's talk about the list take under consideration number one list of channels that you want to have list of favorite shows second DVR and other devices that you might need. Compare cable TV to streaming services. Number three, how much you are going to pay for extra channels if you choose to watch those. Number four, internet connection. You still need that internet connection. And number five, customer service. Go ahead and call the customer service phone number and double check if you are happy with the customer service that those streaming services are offering. Based on all of those factors, make the wise decision either to stay and keep the cable TV because maybe it's less hassle and it's still not that much more expensive, or maybe, yeah, it's time to switch to streaming service. It's up to you at the end of the day, so make the decision. It's your decision, and I wish you good luck. And in the comments, if you can, please let me know. Are you using still the cable TV and you are sticking with it, or you already switched to uh, streaming services? So how about that? Gwen, would you like to add something? Yeah, we are going for a walk. Bye. Guys. Thank you so much for watching and if you would like to, please leave like, subscribe to our channel and see you soon.